determine the values of a and b we have f of x which is equals to a sine of x and we have g of x which is equals to cos b x so we're looking for the value of a how can we simply determine the value of a we can look at the highest point of our graph f of x because that is what a determines it controls that highest value the amplitude so here in our graph it is easy to see that the highest point that f reaches f of x is 2 so we can say that a is equals to 2 and now let's look at g of x we are interested in the value of b if you look at the graph if you look at the sketch the diagram we have you're gonna realize that we have an original cosine graph this graph g of x it is just equals to cos of x there's no alterations whatsoever so the value of b in g of x should be equals to one because that is just uh, the shape of cos of x so what are we saying we're saying that a is equals to two and b is equals to one that is 6.1 let's look at 6.2 and 6.2.1 consider the interval x is an element of 0 to 180 uh, the first question let's calculate the values of x for which a sine of x minus cos b of x not cos b of x but cos b x is equals to zero we know the values of a and b so let's go ahead and substitute those we're going to have two sine of x minus cos x being equals to zero let's take cos x to the right hand side if we do that we're going to have two sine of x being equals to cos of x well if we say sine of x divided by cos of x then we're going to have tan of x so let's divide both sides by cos of x if we do that we're going to have two sine of x divided by cos of x being equals to one cos of x divided by cos of x is one but instead of having sine of x divided by cos of x we can write that as tan of x this is equals to one you can see here that uh, we're going somewhere tan of x will be equals to one divided by two so we can say that x is equals to tan inverse of one divided by two the value of x is 26.57 and just like that we've answered 6.2.1 just a bit of algebraic manipulation 6.2.2 for which values of x will g of x multiplied by the gradient of f of x be greater or equals to zero let's go ahead to our sketch and do some sort of constructions let's look at g of x first where is g of x positive and where is g of x negative we're gonna highlight where g of x is positive with a green color and where g of x is negative with the red color so from this point up until x is equals to 90 g of x is positive and then from 90 to 180 it is negative now let's look at f prime of x f prime of x that is the gradient when is the gradient of f of x positive and where is the gradient of f of x negative the gradient of f of x is positive when the graph is sloping up the gradient is just the slope and it is negative when the graph is sloping down when is our gradient sloping up from this point up to x is equals to 90 we have a positive slope and then from x is equals to 90 to x equals to 180 we have a negative slope so as you can see when g of x is positive f prime of x is also positive the product of those two graphs will be positive and when g of x is negative the gradient of f of x is also negative negative multiplied by negative is positive so it seems like when x is an element 
of 0 to 180 degrees our condition is satisfied g of x multiplied by the gradient of f of x is greater or equals to zero let's look at 6.2.3 quite an interesting one determine the values of y for which y is equals to 2 to the power 2 multiplied by f of x minus 1 let me know in the comments how you think we should approach this question because the problem i'm having here is that we're looking for the values of y so i don't know what y is but i also have f of x and i'm not given one value of x so how are we gonna navigate that we don't have any information and we have two variables please let me know in the comments